How does Samsung's new Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 stack up against their first gen Galaxy Book Pro 360? I'll be answering that in this video. I've ordered a new Galaxy Book 2 Pro 360 and I'll be releasing an unboxing and full review soon. I'll also be releasing a benchmarking video letting you guys know how powerful your Book 2 Pro 360 will be. So make sure to subscribe. Samsung decided to keep the same design as their first gen Book Pro 360. This is not a bad thing because they already nailed the design. Of course, if there's room for improvement, they should go for it. There are two models, a 13.3 inch and a 15.6 inch version. The Book 2 Pro 360 comes in better colours this year. They come in graphite, silver and burgundy. I think the graphite and burgundy looks the best. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. The Book 2 Pro 360 comes with a much stronger 12th gen Intel Core i5 and Intel Core i7 with either 8 or 16 gigs of RAM. Something I'm really excited about is that now Samsung gives us the option to have the 13.3 inch version with the i7 and 16 gigs of RAM. Last year's Book Pro 360 only gave us an option of the 13.3 inch version with the Core i5 and 8 gigs of RAM. I've seen some benchmarking videos comparing the performance of the 11th gen Intel Core i5 and i7 to the 12th gen Intel Core i5 and i7 and I'm telling you now if the difference wasn't that big I would not be upgrading. I definitely think that the new chips will make a massive difference in my video editing workflow so that's what I'm getting. The 11th gen is already powerful but you know when you can do a lot more with just that extra bit of power. The RAM speed is obviously going to be faster and more responsive, the SSD is going to have a faster read and write speed, you know the usual. The performance gain you're getting when you're upgrading to the Book 2 Pro 360 will be big if you have a workflow that is really power hungry like me. But if you're a student and don't really need the most powerful laptop out there then you can just go with the Book Pro 360 because I think you're a bit cheaper. If in your country the Book 2 Pro 360 costs the same as the Book Pro 360 then it's a no brainer get the Book 2 Pro 360. If you're enjoying the video then just tap that subscribe button. Like seriously it's just a single tap on your screen. You probably tap your screen hundreds of times a day so what's a single tap gonna do? If you're planning on getting either the Book Pro 360 or the Book 2 Pro 360 then hit the link in my description because that will give you the most latest and up-to-date price. This in turn will save you money whilst helping the channel out. The screen on the Book 2 Pro 360 is nothing less than excellent. It's the same great OLED display that was saw on the first gen Book Pro 360. It has really deep inky blacks and every single color pops and shines. On my previous long-term review of the Book Pro 360, I complained about how dim the display is. It's still really viewable but it's got no chance outside on a really sunny day. Samsung listened and addressed the situation by making the laptop display 30% brighter. This is really noticeable from the videos I've seen. I don't think it's as bright as other high-end laptops out there but I'll test it when I get my Book 2 Pro 360 so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Samsung still needs to make sure that the laptops aren't as reflective by coating it in something else. MacBooks and other Windows laptops aren't that reflective. I'm not sure if it's because of the S Pen but that needs a fix. You know how you can click the trackpad from underneath the laptop on the Book Pro 360? You guys hear that? I can very easily get this trackpad to activate just by barely pressing, not barely, I'm using a little bit of force, but not that much force underneath it. That's really poor build quality, but that's also not the problem that Samsung saw. They build the Book 2 Pro 360 from a tougher, stronger material without having much sacrifice in weight. This makes sure that the clicking problem is now a thing of the past. I never really had that clicking problem with my 13.3 inch version, but I think that's because the body is a lot smaller, so there's less room for flexing. The build quality of both Galaxy Books are excellent, so you can't really go wrong with one. The speakers had been the major flaws of the Book Pro 360, so I'm happy that Samsung managed to fit great loud sounding speakers in the Book 2 Pro. 360. We're at max volume on the original Galaxy Book Pro from last year. They go ahead and put the mic right in the middle of them as well. From the comparisons I've seen, they sound fuller with more bass and depth. This is definitely a major plus and I'm looking forward to watching YouTube and Netflix with my laptop around. When unboxing your Book 2 Pro 360, you'll be greeted with the same S Pen as you did last year. This is great because the S Pen was already a major bonus. It felt great in the hand and the rubber and glass combination felt really pretty. It's awesome that Samsung gives it to us for free, however, I'm not going to be surprised if they removed it from the laptops in the future because they've already removed the charges from the tablets even before. And to be honest, I'm even shocked we still get charges with the Book 2 Pro 360. Watch this video here to see my Book Pro 360 review after 6 months. If you made it this far into the video, you might as well subscribe because you like my pretty face or is in my editing. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, link in the description or just type in Tech for Tech. And I'll catch you in the next one.